So Kaysen has not been explained at all. I don't understand. He's like a tree demon from... Fuck your red room. I'm wasting my pistol bullets here. Or using them first. Hoping that I'll be better at aiming by the time I go to my other weapons. <laughs> yeah, take that, motherfucker. Oh, whoa! You fool. What the fuck? I think that was a different button. What the hell is this boss? What was that? Okay. So there's, oh, there's two now. Oh, there's three. Okay. There we go. Let's hit him with the assault rifle. Fuck it. Fuck you! So bad. Oh, that hit me. So it's triangle and circle, it seems to be. Fuck you! Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, it's different each time. I'm just mashing. Fuck it. There we go. It's showtime. Okay, I don't like this weapon for this fight. Go back to the pistol. What was that? Yes, yes. Is that all? Is that all? Please tell me it's all. I feel like there's going to be another, another part, another section. Come on. I don't have the ammo, honestly. Yeah. You disgust me. I don't really understand Kaysen's motivation, but... Just like that senile old man. Humans are so foolish. So foolish. There's 
Should have bought ammo. With one whiff of that gas I made from the seeds, they'd happily kill each other. Okay. Not much compared to the full effects of the seeds themselves, but I still got a really good laugh out of it. <laughs> so you're just evil for evil's sake, I guess? Anyway, I think we've had enough fun for today. But I really don't like having to exercise. <laughs> What are you doing? No! Are you a frog man? Whoa! Please don't make me have a fucking... This is the final boss fight, right? This can't be like a level. Oh yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Come on, man! You a running section? You have to be kidding me! A fucking running section! <laughs> Keep your eyes to the front! Fuck's sake! Okay, all right. I cannot believe you would do a running section here. Game. Like, who thought this would be fun here? I'll squash you like a frog! Probably. Fuck <laughs> shit. <laughs> I mean, maybe this means I don't need ammo. Sequences. That's a hideous, hideous dude, though. I'll squash you like a Come on, Zach. Even though I thought I was Zach. Kason has no health. What's going on, man? Is there something else I'm supposed to be doing here? There's no visible progress here, which is also a thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You're an annoying little dog. The game calling me annoying during the run sequence is interesting. A little rich. And Deadly Premonition talking to me about annoying bugs. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> this fucking game. All right. So now more boss stuff. Wait. No, that's not it. He's coming back out. Emily, I will avenge your death. Just a moment longer. I'll buy you a new dress to make up for all the pain I've caused you. The dress you wore when you came to my hotel room didn't seem to fit you right. <laughs> I thought it was nice.
Hopefully this is something that can be done with like 10 shots. I somehow doubt it. It's a giant casein. Casein? I've been meaning to tell you this. You're one crazy guy. Is he a guy? What is he? And who are you? Oh, okay. I thought the game crashed. Okay, that doesn't work. Maybe I have to shoot the little casein in his hand. What's this pain? Ah. I don't think I have enough ammo, but we'll try. I can't miss here. Actually, the shoddy might be alright here now. Oh god. You gonna do your thing? Jason? There we go. Yeah, it's hard to aim at this. Letting me like. There we go. 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 Maybe I have enough ammo. And maybe he'll just never attack. That would be cool. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I don't understand. Why did that hit me? Jesus, your face is disgusting. What are you doing? These are great because you don't actually have to evade. You just have to press circle. That hurt him. Oh, that was a good one. That's a good one. Come on, man. Damn it. Okay. You do it again. Again. Dude, you're actually kind of scary, not gonna lie. Ah! Hit the head. There we go. There we go. Headshot. This is such an absurd way this game is ending. Like, the game's been absurd, but. Like, look at this shit. Please be the last part of this battle. Ah! Come on. No? Okay, I got five shots left. There we go! Yes! 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 Okay, I can just go to the pistol now, right? Alright, what are you doing? What are you doing? 
What have you done? Wait, there's more to this? Wait, what am I supposed to do now? I don't want there to be one more thing. He, he hit it, right? What is this? Oh, here we go, here we go. It's Resident Evil 4. What am I doing? <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You're an annoying little bug. Oh, there he is! I saw it in there. Here we go, here we go. Wow. Yeah, let's go. Equip, 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 equip. What the? Come on, You're an annoying I did it, I did it! Yes! That has to be the end. That has to be the end. Get wrecked. Oh, this looks worse. What the hell are you? We can't have a phase three. I refuse. We can't have as many phases as there are regular enemies. Because you don't understand humans. Get him. Get him, Zach. Got him. Get annihilated, Forrest. Oh, he walked away like a badass, too. <laughs> yeah, Zach not giving a fuck. I still have so many questions, guys. We'll see what we've got in terms of epilogue here. The madness has subsided. Damn. The way to come too. I was Emily. so worried, guys, that I wasn't going to be able to do it. To show it, but he's pretty shy. Is he? Don't wait for him to propose. Just ask him to marry you. She's dead. And also, also, they've never even made out or like marriage. Maybe he's just being sweet. I, I, I don't know. Hmm. Stomp it. Stomp it! <laughs> I guess he stomped it. I, I would have gone to more efforts to actually destroy it, but... Okay. Uh, it appears the game's still going, so we're, we're going to press through this one. This is going to be a long one, but we're going to press through. I don't understand. Here's the epilogue. Everyone died. And York is Zack, actually. Is it like you today? parallel universes Maybe. or something? Zack, that story I told you the other day, did you believe any of it? Which one? The fact of the matter is that I couldn't save Emily. So it really doesn't matter whether I believed you or not. I'm very sorry about her. There's something mysterious about that picture. Ah, uh, yeah. The fact that you had and it before it happened sadness. is kind of Harry, mysterious. I have a few questions for you. Yeah. 
About what, Zack? Your last name isn't really Stuart, is it? Ah, that is correct. It's really Woodman. Harry Woodman. George was my son. Ooh, revelation. You were there in the White Room when I was there. Why? Yeah, good question. The same reason as your father. Long, long ago, I too was unable to shoot my wife. What's worse is that what a tragedy. I was so unable to kill myself. Which is why I lost both. The woman I loved and my son. My wife suffered from a mental illness, but I still loved her. I wanted to save George, too, if I could. Everything was my fault. Oh, of course, because George's if only mother I was. Had the yeah, yeah, yeah. To make the right decision, Emily and the other girls would not have died. But you have put an end to all of that. So it's like it needs a new host. I wonder if they are happy. Zach, no need to worry. About and it would have been York, will Emily. Guide Emily, and the other girls into the forest. So York was make-believe the whole time? Kind of feels weird ending with Zack and not York. I think we're gonna, we're gonna end with York, right? No. This is mighty peculiar. Well, there's Emily. Hmm? Hey, Michael. Mind stopping the car for a moment? Very well, Mr. Francis Zack Morgan. Dude, this didn't have a very happy ending. I gotta say. This was... Get out of here, creepy kids. I heard you're leaving. That dog was the dog to the devil, by the way. So be careful around that thing. Uh-huh. That's right. It's a shame about Emily and the other girls, too. Yeah. Yeah. Big time shame. How are Isaac and Isaiah? Oh, they're fine. They still don't think the girls are dead. I don't know what to believe. I mean, are we in the same universe as the entire game? I know it's a weird thing to say, Give but you know what yourself. I mean? He's right next to you. Okay, they're communing with the spirit realm. Oh, okay. I understand. We'll do it for you. Um, Emily kind of told us to give this to you. Emily said it's a present for Zach. Thank you. What about York? Where did you get this? Emily asked us to give it to you. See? She's over there. There's another Zach there too. You're twins, just like us. Emily couldn't give it to you herself. Okay. She said she's too embarrassed. So, she asked us to hand it to you. Emily really likes you, Zach. She really likes you. No, she doesn't. Not me. She really likes that guy, York. The guy you see standing next to her. Anyways, you two. Be nice to the girls, okay? And they'll be nice to you. We don't like girls. Yeah, girls are Girls stink. are boring. Yeah, they're boring. They got cooties. <laughs> um, man, I, I have a lot of things going in my mind right now, and I'm not really able to articulate any of them. Gotta love them. Just full of energy. Yeah. Uh, 
So York was a coping mechanism for Zack. Who couldn't deal with the fact that, like, Forrest... Emily. Always... York. Sounds like you're both doing fine. I feel better about you two now. And hey, York. I figured out why George carried on his body all the way into the woods. Why's that? It was for them. He wanted Isaac and Isaiah to find her. Mr. Francis Zack Morgan, if you are finished, if you are, please let us return to the car. No need for that. You can go home. I want to take a look around more. Very well then. I what? I'm sure Mr. Stewart will approve of that. So he's not gonna leave town? Ah, thank you, Michael. Wait, what? I'm still playing? Okay, well let's let's continue. Um, we'll get in the car. Do, I, as another thought, as an aside, does this town have a police force at all? <laughs> Pretty sure every single member of the police force is dead. They might need to get some new blood in. Uh, well, everything's just normal now, I guess. But like, okay, so so there's. I'm trying to figure this all out. Zack, who I thought was me, but apparently I'm York, was... Oh, God damn it! Well, this is going to be answers to it. we gotta, we got to do this. York. Can you hear me? I'm a little jealous. I'm all alone on this side now. But don't worry, York. I've had it easy for so long having you with me. I need to get used to being on my own. So, when, when Zack was a kid, Forrest Kaysen, for whatever reason, Demon, Demon Kaysen was in, uh, was it in his parents' life somehow, implanted the soiled, as they say, soiled, uh, Zack's mother. And his father couldn't kill her, so he killed himself. And somehow that connected Zack to everything, but then York... <laughs> it's so convoluted. Like, so when somebody has a... When one of these people are soiled, it like starts the process again. The tree grows maybe in the town that the person lives in or something. I don't know if I need to fuel up again. I'm not going to. I feel like I'm right at the end. But... I don't know. Zach was trapped somehow. Living through York. Maybe he was just... Maybe York was like his denial. Yeah, maybe York's his denial of, of what happened. And seeing it happen again triggered that realisation of his memory. That must be it. It has to be it. Way to make us drive to the other side of town at the end of the game. Like... But in, in, in a way, it's perfectly emblematic of the pacing of this game. I've just gone through all the revelations and probably driving to get, like, the end credits or something. Unless there's somehow more. There's a lot of games that don't keep me as gripped and they have even good gameplay. You know, like, when you play a game that's like, oh, it's pretty good. But then, like, after 15 hours, you're like, I just kind of stopped playing. I don't know. You hear that story all the time. But... <clears throat> For this, gameplay is appalling. 
And I took some breaks. But I knew I was going to get to the end of it. The fact of it being Kaysen ultimately is... Like George, surprising but not surprising. Surprising that they like set him up as obvious. It's like they double bluffed the red herring thing, made them obvious. So you're like, there's no way it could be them. And then shut it down, and then it is them. Which I guess is pretty clever. Oh. Alright. Is this York or Zach? Who am I even? Oh, let's talk. It's Zach. York, tonight I'm going to sleep like a baby. You earned it, Zachy. With your tie on, no less. What about the old man? Are we going to get one more with the old man Zach, telling the story? It's over. All finished. It's time for you to leave town. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. I'm ready. Guys, I'm ready. As for side content, that's for another that's for another playthrough, you know? I'm ready. It's a little sad, but I'm ready. Then this is goodbye, Zach. Wait, goodbye to you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Good night, Zach. And sleep tight. Now, Yorkie. Fucking Kaysen. Polly, what's that picture? This is like oh, the. That. Uh... We took it when the clock tower was built. Fifty years ago? That's right. That's me in the middle. I was pretty popular back then. Men were always around me. But you didn't get a... Sorry to keep you waiting. Just sign here, please. Mr. Morgan? Mr. Morgan? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Polly. I was just thinking of a friend. Someone who was with me for a long, long time. He must have been a really good friend then. Otherwise, why else would you remember him at a time like this? It's more sad than... Indeed. We used to fight, but he really was a good person. He's gone now, though. Gone away to a place where we can't meet again. I'm sorry to hear that, but if he's a friend of yours... I'm sure he's getting on just fine. Thank you, Polly. You know what? I think so, too. He must be, but... <laughs> what? There's a sequel to this game, right? And I've seen a gameplay shot, and it the guy has brown hair. It's York. Maybe he dyes his hair. Maybe I shouldn't be trying to make sense of all this. Just enjoy it. It's sad that he and York aren't together anymore. Don't quit. <sighs> Keep it. That was your. That was one of your things. Well, I guess it was yours. What a... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Did Emily die? No. She became the goddess of the forest. I thought Anna was. Even now, she is still in the forest. Okay, is this, this is Zack then. This must be Zack. She watches over the world from there. Emily became a goddess. That's right. Isn't that's that a that's uh, Zack for sure. Hey, Grandpa. 
Can I ask you something? What kind of person is York? York is a real nice guy. He's been a good friend of mine since I was small. Like Mr. Teddy? Yes, just like Mr. Teddy. A very important friend. Look at that mustache. <laughs> doing I don't know he's calling me Emily again oh dear he must be losing his memory oh you are Louise honey Michelle Louise Morgan Michelle Not Emily Louise you know that Morgan. right I know my own name mom I know you do baby you're just so lovely Louise I'm sure that's why your grandfather mixes you up with a goddess Well, at least it ended sort of happily ever after, ultimately, for Zack. Mom, kind where of. is the goddess? I don't know, dear. I'm not much like your grandfather. Is there even such a thing as a goddess? I believe so. Who's grandma? But I've never met one. I guess we haven't met her. Mom, you're so pretty. You look like a goddess. Oh, thank you, honey. Oh, if sweet. I am a goddess, then you are an angel. <laughs> Man. This, uh, this game was wild. It's a little bit of a sad ending, to be honest. I didn't think he was going to, like, end up with Emily, but I didn't think she was going to die horrifically. A wild game, a wild ride. I'm glad I played it. Again, terrible gameplay. Nothing about the gameplay was good. It, the gameplay had some interesting ideas. The execution, for the most part, was appalling. Uh, I think with how clever some of the game is, that that must have been... At least... They must have at least been aware of it. Swery must have at least been aware of it. Uh... Maybe it was intentional. I don't know. Obviously a love letter to Twin Peaks. It changed. It's not the same story as Twin Peaks. Uh, it's its own story. Great characters. Great cutscenes. Just mind-boggling at the end. The the, I guess they, that's the twist, right? Is that you're actually Zack. Um... Shout out to Jeff Kramer for voicing your... I thought the voice acting was really good. The sound design is all over the place. The controls are awful. The frame rate is not even a rate that is worthy of being measured at times. It's like 10 FPS at times. Uh, it's inconsistent. The pacing's shocking. Um, but the... The world is fascinating. The characters are great. The music's really good too. I would have been totally happy with it just as an interactive movie. Thank you all for watching. There will be new Let's Plays in the future. <laughs> I'll be in a different nation. I won't be so sweaty and hot all the time, thankfully. Uh, I look forward to experiencing more bizarre, interesting odd, unique, at times frustrating games. Again, there's been some good suggestions in the comments. Let me know if you got any suggestions for me. I uh, hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Let me know what you thought of it. I'll be back. I mean, maybe I'll do Deadly Premonition 2. I know it exists. <laughs> oh my god, there's another scene. There's another scene. This is nice. Mm. 
they're in the dead land, make believe land. Yep. Oh, this is kind of weird. I thought it was going to be like, they're all happy. But why is everyone watching them? Well, I guess that was nice. <laughs> kind of creepy though. Kind of creepy. So it was kind of, sort of a love story. What, what the hell is this? Why is Zach there? Georgie wasn't invited to that party, by the way. <laughs> I noticed. There was no Georgie there. Thomas got invited. No Georgie. I guess because Thomas was kind of like a goddess of the forest. Wow, this keeps going. Keeps going. Zach, it's great to see you again. How many years has it been? A while. I've been close to you the whole time. You probably couldn't see me, but... You felt my presence nearby, right, Zach? I never thought you'd get married and have a family. Quite a surprise. I spent years honing my profiling skills, but I never saw that one coming. Sounds a little that's different. What humans so interesting. And that's why I just can't leave you guys alone. More than anything else. What? You're not human? Seeing you look so happy is the best thing I could ever ask for. Anyway, Zach. Did you see the newspaper today? As it turns out, over the last three months, there's been a string of bizarre incidents near New Orleans. Residents there are reporting a sudden strike of nausea, and then they completely lose control of their bodies. Some have already had two months of only being able to walk backwards. Does that make you feel anything? It makes me feel something. I know you feel it too, Zach. It makes me feel like there's a sequel coming. So when do we leave? Yorkie, when do we leave? Okay, Zach. I thought that's what you'd say. Well then, it's time to wake up, Zach. Even the ending was weird. Even like the credits had weird pacing issues. <laughs> oh, God damn. God damn. <laughs> Deadly premonition. <laughs> 